Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing something pretty cool with you. Um, we are going to be breaking down the five steps to having a successful web design business. So essentially, what five things do you need to be doing in order to have a successful business? thing is with when people go into web design and start their web design business they kind of have an idea and then they expect overnight in a couple of weeks uh, in a couple of months even uh, to be making loads of money with web design and to be honest sometimes for many people that does work now you can see here that there are a couple question marks between the idea and the having a successful web design profitable web design business and uh, so today we're just gonna be filling in what these question marks are the first thing that you need to be considering is your offer I don't mean you know offer as in a special offer or a discount or anything like that what we are on about is what are you going to be offering to another business primarily it is going to be web design if you are starting a web design business but another couple of things I want you to consider is web design is great because it allows you to get a cash injection into your business when you win a web design deal for 500 pounds thousand pounds two thousand pounds etc etc that is a nice lump sum into the business but the trouble with it is once a project is finished that means that you're not going to make any more money from that project so there's a couple of other offers here that you can offer um, either standalone or on top of web design and we've got search engine optimization or SEO social media so you could manage people's social media channels uh, if you're a graphic designer that might be quite appealing for you uh, and then we've got paid advertisement so things like Facebook ads, uh, LinkedIn ads, Google advertisement. So a couple of extra areas for you to consider on top of web design to allow you to you know, have that residual reoccurring revenue within your business on top of just the one-time web design uh, project. The next step is try to figure out your audience. So who is it that you want to be reaching out to? So you could look at this by figuring out what niche you want to go after. So it could be, you, you know, you're targeting dentists or um, fashion brands, uh, jewelry brands, watch brands, any niche that interests you essentially and you are going to enjoy working within. Also consider the size of the business that you want to be going after. Do you want to be going after small businesses, medium sized businesses, or do you want to be going after large corporate clients? So. Yeah, and again, something else that you need to consider here. Another area that you can figure out the type of audience that you're gonna go after could be by location. So if you're based in a city or a small town, you could just be offering web design services to that small town only. And that's gonna allow you to sort of stand out in that respect. So a couple of things for you to consider here. You could amalgamate all three of them. You could, for example, target dentists within your location that are small. You know, you could define your audience by that. So you could be as broad or specific as you like. I recommend trying to be relatively specific and that way you're gonna be able to stand out and give yourself enough opportunity to win business. So step number three is lead generation. So how do we find clients? How do we start winning clients and, and making money within our business? So there's a couple of areas that you can go here to start generating business for your business. Now, a great place to go is freelancer websites. So I've got here Upwork and People Per Hour. If you're just getting started, they are absolutely fantastic. All you need to do is head there, set up a profile, and start applying for projects. Other areas that you can visit is Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, you know, social media channels. Use two ways to approach this. You can have a social presence on each of those. So you could start adding value to your social channels and you might then start getting noticed, getting some attention and people start contacting you to help them with their website because the more value that you give, the more you position yourself as an expert. On top of that, with Facebook, you can go into some Facebook groups that are relevant to your audience and you can again start adding value. Now, I don't recommend that you go into a Facebook group and just start pitching your business left, right and center. You definitely need to add value People see you as an authority, people see you as helpful, and then that way they are then more likely going to come to you if they need a little bit of help or know someone that needs some help, they're gonna recommend you. So value first, business second. And then we've got Google. It seems like a no-brainer, um, but a lot of people forget that having uh, their website appear high on Google is gonna 
it help them a lot because if for example you have someone who is looking for a new website but they own a dentist business they might google search web design for dentists and if you've managed to sort out your offer and your audience and you fall within that category and you've managed to seo your website so you, that you appear for that term you're going to start getting more traffic to your site and inbound leads coming in so don't overlook or overestimate the power of seo on your website to start generating business be it local or national and then finally here we've got youtube so i recommend that you head over to youtube and create a channel you know you don't need thousands of subscribers to start generating work from youtube as long as you're putting together valuable content that's going to help your audience then you know they are going to trust you they're going to become familiar with what you look like assuming that you're going to be on camera they're going to become familiar with your voice and then they are going to trust you and when they trust you remember people buy from people if they trust you you're going to do very well you've got quite a few options here with regards to where you could go and how you can go and start generating new work for your web design business step number four is sales now sales is obviously a word that some people love and some people hate personally i don't really like the word i like to swap it up and say that every time i talk to a business it's more of a discovery call because i myself am not a natural born salesman i don't have a sales background and it's actually something that i've had to learn since having my own business and you know once you get into it and start doing it it's not as scary as you may think and um, but with sales like I say, I like to call it the discovery call. And the purpose of the call is not to ram a product down someone's throat and, and pressure them to sell or anything like that. You are basically taking the opportunity to learn more about their business, identifying the problems that they're having within their business. And then what you can do then is offer your solution to the problems that they are having. And that will be by way of a website or digital marketing or search engine optimization, paid social media, all of those things that come within step one that you defined as your offer, you can offer those up as a solution. So yeah, don't be afraid of sales. Sales is an awesome, awesome thing. You will learn to love it, but it's definitely important. I myself completely overlooked the whole sales aspect when I started my web design business. I was naive and I assumed that because I knew web design, people would still you know, wanna buy a website from me. And over the past few years, I've had to learn these five key steps to having a successful business, which is why I'm sharing with you, which is why I'm sharing them with you right now. Okay, so moving on to step number five, the last step, and here we have servicing. You might be thinking, well, what do I mean here? So the servicing is actually delivering the project to the client, whatever it is that they wanted, whether it's website, uh, SEO or anything like that. You need to know how to service the customer. So it might be that you need to learn to deliver the service yourself. If you don't know web design, you might have to um, take a bit of time to learn it in order to deliver it yourself. Or you already may know how to build websites, um, but you're not entirely sure how you go about onboarding a customer or how you uh, hand that project over. Uh, so there's a couple of things that you need to learn there. Over a period of time, if your web design business is growing or even if this is maybe your business model, you could look to outsource your web design work. Maybe you don't know anything about web design and you have no intention of learning how to build websites. You could still build a very successful web design business and not have to do any of the work. So you could look to find a contractor that will build the websites for you and you can just deliver those to the customer. So yeah, you definitely have the option to outsource uh, the website build part of the project. And over a period of time, you might look to build a team, whether that is a team of uh, web designers, a team of developers, um, digital marketers, anything like that. You can build a team, whether it is in-house or remote. Yeah, servicing is a huge part of the business because you need to be able to service your customers correctly. And when you do, you are going to receive praise. You're going to receive good referrals by word of mouth. You're going to receive consistent income on any of the sort of monthly retainers that you've managed to get people on because if you're servicing them well and they're happy, then they're going to stick around. So that is one of the key parts to having a successful web design business is servicing the clients correctly and just keeping them happy. So ultimately, these five steps here, if you can nail these, you're going to have an amazing 
amazing business. So guys, hopefully you found that valuable. It was just a quick breakdown of the things that you need to be thinking about and getting on top of in order to have a successful business. It's not something that you can just dive straight into and be really good at right away. It does take a little bit of time. Now guys, if you weren't aware yet, there is a Facebook group that I have recently launched, which is gonna allow you to have direct access to me if you've got any questions, but it's also a group of like-minded people that are also currently trying to start and grow their web design business. So feel free to head over there, make sure you answer all the questions and you'll get access to the group. If you enjoyed this video guys, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification too and you'll be notified of any future releases. Uh, there's loads of other videos on the channel which are designed to help you up your website design game and improve, uh, improve your web design business essentially. So go and check those out as well. Now before you go, the end screen's coming up which will have a couple of videos which you will find useful no doubt. Feel free to go and check those out. Um, but that's it for me and I will catch you guys in the next video.